Today's hot news. Michael Bury warned the biggest market bubble in history would end with the mother of all crashes. More on that in a minute. Hi everybody, Joe Hilner with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, where we can guarantee the sale of your home, or I'll buy it. Every week I share market data, keep you informed with the local real estate market, and here is this week's Boca Market Watch. First up, single family homes. This past week, 62 new listings, kind of average, and ranging in price from 445k to 16 and a quarter million. 13 homes back on the market, 71 homes listed took a price decrease, that's a bunch and four sellers raised their asking price. And like the last couple of weeks, only 34 different properties under contract and 22 going pending. Not good at all. 43 homes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or the listing expired outright. The highest I've seen in a couple of years. And a new normal week for sales with 55 homes sold ranging from 409K to 6.3 million. Next, condos and townhomes. 56 new listings, not great, ranging from 125 grand to 3.8 million. 11 units back on the market, 74 properties with a price decrease, wow, and five sellers with an increase. And another light week with 45 different properties under contract and 35 going pending. 33 condos or townhomes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or expired outright. 66 closed sales this week, not too bad, ranging in price from 95,000 4.9 million. And here's what's making news right now. The big short investor, Michael Bury, recently warned that the biggest stock market bubble in history would end with the mother of all crashes. He just hinted the collapse is now underway. Oh boy. Michael sounded the alarm on the greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things last summer and cautioned investors buying into the hype that they were headed for Again, the mother of all crashes. Doomsday is finally here, he hinted in a tweet this week. He shared a screenshot of an S&P 500 chart showing the benchmark stock market index has tumbled 18% from its December peak, despite several blistering rallies this year. Quote, and yet I keep getting asked, when is the crash? <laughs> it's already begun, he says. Bury suggested in May that the S&P 500 could drop as low as 1,900 points or another 53% over the next few years based on how past crashes have played out. Moreover, he's dismissed the rebounds in stocks this year as bear market rallies or what he calls dead cat bounces, temporary reprieves along the road to inevitable disaster. His stance seems to be that the market boom is over, stocks are headed down, and any rallies will prove short-lived. Well, he's not alone. Jeremy Grantham, another doomsayer investor and market historian, shrugged off the recent upturn in stocks as a bear market rally. And he uh, issued this new research note entitled, Entering the Super Bubble's Final Act. Like Bury, he warned of, quote, an unprecedentedly dangerous mix of hugely overpriced assets, commodity price shocks, and a Federal Reserve intent on curbing inflation by cooling the economy. Oh. Since this is a real estate market watch, you may ask, well, what's the cor correlation? Where's the linkage? Well, we've already seen it take a huge bite out of the luxury market. All of those potential buyers who were feeling flush with cash and wealthier than they'd ever been suddenly saw their por portfolios take a hit, a big hit, earlier this year. And they're typically cash buyers, so the spike in interest rates didn't affect them. But that paper loss caused by the stock market dips made them pull back into a wait and watch mode or they just decided to curtail a purchase altogether. As a consequence, we saw our luxury market, say three million and up, go from home selling in days for 200 to 500,000 over asking to homes languishing on the market and two out of three having to lower their prices. Doesn't mean the prices are dropping yet, just that they had to reprice to where they would have started in a normal market, which is kind of where we are right now. We still have a significant imbalance between the number of buyers and the number of sellers, so it's still a seller's market. But for how long? With the Fed intent on fighting inflation by cooling the housing market, we can only hope for the so-called soft landing. 
I'm starting to get a little less optimistic about it right now, but whatever happens, I'll be here to report how it affects us. Okay, that's it for today. If you'd like some market data, specific market data on your neighborhood, please just send me a text or give us a call at 954-799-6867. We'll send you out that free report. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel and you like the information, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notifications icon bell down below. So until next time, this is Joe Hilner with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty signing off for now. Go serve big everybody and be nice to each other and I'll see you next week.